gonna go down. Welcome to California's beautiful central coast. We're here hunting wild boar and carrying a Taurus Raging Hunter chambered in 460 Smith & Wesson. Not only is this a very capable handgun for the hunt, but it also tests your skills by making you get in close. So we've been here for a decent amount of time now. Just trying to pick apart all this landscape. We've got a lot of good, really good country to to cover, so we've been picking it apart with the binos, but haven't seen any pigs yet, but we're getting right in kind of that, that prime time hour, so we're expecting some some movement to, to happen shortly. Fingers crossed we could find a good boar and sneak in on them. Our first day was slow, but even though we didn't see any pigs, it was a great to learn the area and watch other animals on the landscape, like black-tailed deer and one of my personal favorites, Tule elk. About wrapped on time for this evening, but there's always the next day. We didn't see any pigs tonight. Um, got lots of really good country, but we're just gonna have to keep picking through country and we'll do our best and find some pigs. Well, back at it, morning two. Back in the same area, gonna see if we could locate some hogs this morning. The scenery out here is just breathtaking. So we're just up on these high ridges and this big ranch that's been maintained and bettered for, for wildlife management to help the elk hurt, the deer hurts, everything in this area. It's just amazing to be up here and then to look off of these two valleys. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Much of the surrounding area is encompassed by private land. These landowners care deeply for the wildlife though, and have done extensive property improvements to make water and feed available during the rough drought that has plagued the state in recent years. All right, so we just spotted a good boar across this canyon. And so we're getting geared up. We're gonna head over there, we're gonna Try and put a sneak on them, get close, and within handgun range, and we'll see if we can make it happen. It should be fun. At least we got the honorable critter in sight, so we're gonna go give it a try. Our good friend Lucas Pa knows this country like the back of his hand. He stuck around for the duration of the hunt and was a major help when it came to finding a bull. Well, we tried. As those pigs left the cover, two boars, they started picking up their pace and we thought they were gonna hold up in this cover behind us, but they had a spot where they wanted to go and they usually bed in this canyon, right? Yeah, something got them moving and we got into 100 yards, but didn't have a good shot. So, they didn't get another crack at them this morning. If not, either tomorrow or this evening, maybe. So yeah. We can turn them up. Yeah. Something. Remember that drought? Well, this year was a little different and was actually one of the wettest in recent history, racking up record amounts of rainfall. Due to that, we had a hard time finding pigs. So we changed our locale and hoped that move would better our odds. So we struck out this morning, got in close to a big boar, but he ended up ghosting us and weren't able to get it done. So. Since we weren't seeing a whole lot of pigs, we decided to change areas. And now we're in this area here, and we've got a few pigs spotted. One just came down to this creek bottom, so we're sneaking in, trying to make a move. Uh, we're gonna try and get close enough for a shot with the old 460. Come 
Even though we got within shooting distance of this pig, we discerned it was a sow. And the landowner had asked us previously to target boars. Passing on the sow, we made a Hail Mary decision to move on the herd in the thick brush. We got in close, but the shooting lanes were small and the opportunities were fleeting. Though we weren't successful, we had a renewed sense of confidence and we continued the search, waiting patiently to find a boar that was in a stockable position. Knowing there were pigs around, we went back to the same area the next day. We spotted a big boar moving across the flats down below us and we decided to make a move, but we had to move fast. We grabbed our gear and ran through the fields and tried to cut them off. Hit him real good. Yeah, I still can't believe that happened like that. We saw this board, we moved spots on the ridge line. We went down to get a different look while we were glassing and saw him way back up here underneath us. So we came back and took off down to cut him off and sprinted across the field and snuck in as close as we could, got to about 65, 70 yards and let the Taurus go. And it hammered them really good, 200 grains of copper from Hornady. Put them right down. Let's go check them out. That was exciting. After a long freaking week of searching for these things, spot and stock in California, it's a lot harder than than I ever would have thought it to be, but finally got it done, had some close calls, had a lot of, a lot of great times, good laughs. The week of hunting was an absolute blast. The Taurus Raging Hunter 460 performed exceptionally well, and we owe a big thanks to Lucas Paw for showing us the ropes on California pig hunting and being there to help guide us through this adventure.